Ow! Oh! It's so shallow and warm. Ow! I keep hitting rocks. It is hard to swim here. Which way to deeper, cooler water? Oh, there's some animals. I'll go ask them. Hey, guys. Hey, Salmon. I wouldn't get closer. It's really shallow here. What's up with that? It wasn't so shallow when I left for the ocean. You swam all the way out to the ocean? Sure did. Whoa. It took a long time, too. First, I had to swim to the delta. Where the big rivers of the valley meet? Uh-huh. Got kind of salty there. And then I swam through the bay. Under the Golden Gate Bridge? Yep, and then out into the ocean. Wow. It was a long journey. So what happened to the river? The water is so low. I've gotten all scraped up. Mm, hey, what's the buzz about? All of us animals are unhappy because our river home is too low, too warm, and too muddy. Really? Yeah! We need water! Hey, what's that pipe over there? Hey, I hear water. Maybe you should check it out. Me? Maybe you'll learn why the river's so low. Yeah, hop to it! Oh, please, please! Yeah, yeah go over it! Right. I... Be careful! All right, guys. Wish me luck. Good luck, Salmon. Yeah, good yeah, job. Yes. Be careful. Wow, this water sure is dirty and leafy and smelly. Yuck. Ugh. I wonder where this is leading me. Kids, what are you doing at this storm drain? We're doing our chores. Well, what are you doing? I'm here to find out why our river is so low and dirty. Wow, the river's far, and you swam all that way? I just followed the yucky water entering the river from the underground drain pipe, and it brought me here. That water must be coming from our hose. We're washing the dust, dirt, and leaves. And even chemicals like pet shampoos and car oil. Yeah. Off our driveway and sidewalk. And down the gutters into the storm drain that flows into the pipes and then into the river. Isn't that where you live? Yes. That muddy gunk settles on top of our eggs that I've hidden in the gravel. And our eggs get covered and suffocate. Oh. We'll, we'll turn, turn the, the hose, hose off right, right now. now. Thank you. So we should sweep up the dirt and leaves. Yes, and put them in a container. It's easy, and you can add it to your compost bin for your gardens. Great idea! Don't forget to clean up after your pet. Ooh, pet poop. Yep, just like dirt, oil, soaps, and poop. poop. <laughs> yes, dog waste left in the street can flow into the river. It can even carry diseases, and I don't want that in my home. Plus. It's smelly. Sure, we'll use bags to pick up the poop and throw it away. Uh, we have some inside, so I'll make sure we keep bags by our pet's leash. How about getting a broom? Sure, we have one in our garage. Well, we have some chores to do inside. Hey, can I come? Maybe I could help find more ways to save water. Sure, follow us. Wipe your feet. Or, I mean, the tail. I, uh, can't walk, remember? I'm a fish. Well, just jump into our bucket and we'll carry you in. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. I need to run the dishwasher. Do you really need to? We have a few bowls in it. I licked them clean. Mm. Yeah. You know you use the same amount of water in your washer for half a load as for a full load? And if you wait for more dishes and bowls, a full load... Then you're not wasting water. That makes sense. I'll wait. One less chore to do. I like that. Then I guess we should also wait for a full load when we do the laundry? That's awesome. Yeah, you'll save gallons and gallons and gallons of water every time. It's just like the dishwasher. If it isn't full, you're wasting water. Wow. Who knew saving water could make doing chores so much easier? Look, I know it hasn't rained much this year. Because of the drought. Uh, what's a drought? A drought is a long period of time with no or little rain. And it's important to be prepared for future dry years because droughts are just part of California's climate. We'll get more rain eventually. Then we can go back to the way we were doing things before? No, no. 
Saving water is important all the time. Wait, what's that sound? What sound? The dripping. Oh, that's just the leaky faucet. Well, that's wasting water. Time for some thoughtfulness. I guess we waste water when we leave the faucet running while we brush our teeth. And when we wash up at the sink or in the shower, too. How long are your showers? I took a six-minute shower today. I bet you could clean yourself in three minutes. Yes, but... You could use a low-flow shower head, too, to use less water. A low flow is still nice. You know, it takes forever for the water to warm up. I bet that wastes a lot of water. Why not use a bucket like this one to catch the cold water while you're waiting for it to warm up? And then you can use it to water your plants. Oh, that will really save water. We could do that. What about flushing the toilet? What about it? We go to the bathroom a lot, especially at night. If we're waiting on small loads of dishes and small loads of clothes, we should wait on flushing small amounts of pee. <laughs> well, you could. Yeah, that would save water. Wait, my teacher told us that we could use a double-handle toilet. The first handle flushes only half the toilet tank and should be used just for pee. Great thinking. A half flush saves water. I guess the other handle is for full flush. Yep. That's for poop. <laughs> sure. Let's tell mom and dad so we save even more water. People need water for the basics. Drinking, cleaning, growing food, and in the bathroom. We just need to make sure we don't waste water. And don't use it when we don't really need it. Right. It's called conserving water, which means careful use of water. Wow, Salmon, thanks for sharing all these ideas. We'll practice water conservation all the time so we save water and we can share it with all the river animals. I'll ask Mom and Dad to teach me how to fix a leak. And I'll do the laundry and clean the dishes with full loads. We can all go to the store to get low-flow shower heads and low-flush toilets. Oh, I just love going for rides <laughs> in the car. Me too. This chore will be fun, and we'll be saving lots of water. We kids can make a difference. Good going, guys. Remember, every drop saved makes a difference. Hey, Salmon, isn't our lawn beautiful? Well, it sure is green, but it's not native. Well, what does native mean? Native plants live in this region, and they're used to living in dry weather. Well, are they green and beautiful? Oh, they sure are, and they don't need much water. Well, are there many? Oh, sure, there are lots of native plants, like sage, wild roses, poppies, elderberries. Let's plant some I native plants. <laughs> um, this is fun. From now on, we're practicing water conservation. Our world has limited supply, and we want to make sure that everyone has enough so no more wasting water. We're going to share the water. Oh, thanks, Salmon, for teaching us so much. Thanks, Salmon. And tell the other Salmon all around the state that we're doing our part. Salmon only live in Northern California. Will our water conservation help anyone in Southern California? Huh. Well, I've never been there. My teacher taught me that the rivers in Northern California supply most of the water to Southern California through a giant canal. Wow. That's a long way for the water to travel. That's right. They have so little water down there. That means we should conserve water not just for animals in our rivers here and each other like our neighbors, but for people and animals in the southern part of the state. They need water too. That's right. Everyone needs to conserve water. People in Southern California need to conserve water too, because if they don't, we'll have less water here for people and animals. And for salmon. You know it. Wow. Thanks for telling us about the river. You're welcome. It's really important to share as we all need water. It's called balance, careful use, so people have the water they really need for homes, for farms, and for hydroelectric power from dams. And nature has water too. We can't wait to start saving water so you and the other animals will be safe. And I'd best be going. Hey, it's starting to rain! Hooray! Oh, we, we sure, sure need, need the, the rain. rain! Rain! I love rain! The animals will be so happy! 
I guess it's time for me to swim home. It was great to meet you guys. And remember, we all need to do our part to save and protect our waters. And you kids can lead the way. Bye, guys. Bye, Salmon. And thanks a lot. Bye. Look, there she is. Hey, guys. I met these two kids, and I learned that people weren't saving much water. They were wasting it inside houses and in their yards. What did you do? Well, I taught them the importance of sharing and ways to save water. And I think they really understood, and I think they're going to help others save water, too. They're kids, you know, and kids can make a difference. They can protect us by conserving water. Yeah. yeah! We sure are lucky to have smart kids like them. Did you say ducky? No, I said lucky. Because these kids will protect us. And they'll teach others too. <coughs> we'll have a healthy river, our habitat, and we'll all be healthy. Yay! Oh, thank you, Salmon. Sweet! Don't you know it? Everyone needs water. Okay, you hold this while I tighten the faucet. Say goodbye to a drippy leak. Oh, this is fun. Save our water, share our water. We all need to use less water. Keep it clean, be a team. Do your part and save our streams. Use it less, do your best in and out of your house. Change your ways, start today. Saving pays every day. Much rain. Earth love, let's conserve the water and it'll be all right. Native plants use much less, they're so pretty, I confess. Fix your leaks, wash full loads, take short showers, bucket the cold. Teach your mom, teach your dad, conserving water is so rad. It starts with me, it starts with you, let's all pitch in, our friends can too. Much rain, earth love, let's conserve the water and it'll be Thanks for not eating everybody. Hey, you're welcome. For now. <laughs> <laughs>